Late afternoon at Ginan, an independent Japanese restaurant in London. The doors haven't even opened for the evening, and the first order has already arrived. The order didn't come through this restaurant's own online ordering system, but one belonging to Just Eat, a London-based company that's made a business out of connecting hungry internet users to restaurants in their local vicinity. Two salmon sashimi, or three eel Just Eat has just raised $48 million in funding from leading venture capital firms Greylock Partners, Redpoint Ventures, and existing investor Index Ventures. Klaus Neuengart is the CEO of Just Eat. Uh, our vision is to uh, take away the smart way, which means that uh, we have a, a gr great choice of restaurants in, in each postcode, so you don't need to, uh, to save uh, menu cards in your drawer and so on. And for the restaurants, there's also uh, obvious advantages. You know, they're getting orders that they would not otherwise have gotten. You know, they don't uh, uh, understand in the same way as we do how to create uh, a volume business on the Internet. The investment in Just Eat came just a week after a U.S.-based online ordering service called Grubhub announced $20 million in funding. So why is food at your fingertips suddenly such a hot property? After all, e-commerce has typically been seen as a force that directs traffic away from so-called bricks-and-mortar businesses. That is, until the success of the daily deal site Groupon. Ben Holmes is a partner with Index Ventures and sits on the Just Eat board. I actually do think the markets were reading across a lot from what was going on with Groupon, where, where you could see businesses which traditionally VCs might have been frightened of because there was too much field sales and feet on the street and uh, uh, you know, hardware and all sorts of complexity. And now people have actually realized that there are, there are some very good business models that you can run which blend a mixture of kind of the old world in terms of as I say, field sales um, with, with the new world, which is, uh, uh, you know, digital, digitally delivered and digitally marketed goods and services. And I think Just Eats, uh, Just Eats fits very nicely into that category. The pins in this map reflect the territories where Just Eat is already operating. We actually today have a, a profitable business, uh, but uh, we are world leaders and we want to, to uh, cement our world leading position. And that means we need to move into a lot of new geographies. And, and some of these geographies we're going to move into via partnerships and acquisitions. So of course we need to have a, a war chest to be able to do that. Already Just Eat says it's helping to tend to the hunger of over 5 million customers per month, which it predicts will generate over $500 million in revenue for local businesses this year. It won't say exactly how much it stands to gain out of providing this service, but infused with new cash, it will probably be buying a fresh batch of red pins in the near future. Matt Cowan, Reuters.